uh, welcome to object oriented programming laboratory i am g partha sarathi assistant professor department of csc it is a parallel laboratory for our theory subject object oriented programming we have experiments include control statements inheritance interface exception handling multi threading file handling and mini project so totally we have 12 experiments the first experiment we are going to see how to create ebibl for this creation of ebibl i am going to use that concept control statements okay in the control statement we are going to use if else if else here what's the problem statement we are going to take we are going to get some user information through the keyboard like consumer number then type of connection then what is the current month reading previous month reading then what's the tariff these are the inputs we are going to get from the user then based on the tariff i am going to multiply the tariff with the number of units consumed number of units consumed that will be calculated subtracting that previous month reading from current month reading so we can do the calculation now i am going to print that result that is what the consumer number how much units he consumed okay what is the total bill for that i am going to demonstrate the first exercise through our netbeans so already i instructed how to install netbeans 8.0.2 i installed in my system so first open one project okay file new okay here if you give new no it will open like this java web and web application okay it is not web application better you take this java application okay if you give next it will lost that project name okay that is i am giving lab okay then if you give finish it will create like this okay now we need to write the program so here how i am going to write the program no? i am going to have the class called customer data okay we will start from here in the customer data i am getting two inputs in and ins okay then in the get data i am getting that is consumer number whether the type of connection domestic or commercial consumer name previous month reading current month reading then i am writing another method calculate okay here to find the number of units consumed i am subtracting this previous month reading from current month reading then the type is domestic i will do the calculation okay here for uh, less than 100 units we are going to take rupees 1 rupee 1 then in between 100 and 200 i am going to take the 2.50 okay then 200 to 500 i am going to take 4 then above this uh, range you no know, we are going to take 6 similarly for this for your domestic okay for commercial we have somewhat bigger okay so here for less than 100 i am taking 2 rupees per unit okay then 100 to 200 i am putting 4.50 but 200 to 500 i am putting this 6 okay if it is above that i am going to take it as 7 so i have made the calculation now i am going for third method while display okay simply here i am printing what are the things we needed okay consumer number consumer name domestic or commercial okay then current month reading previous month reading total units total bill okay these are the things i are going to display then i have these things in my class called 
customer data. Now I am going to create the object for this customer data. For that I am creating class eb build. Okay, I am creating the class eb build. Already we know why we are putting that import java.util. Okay, in the util only we have the class called scanner. Scanner is used to get the data from the input. Now public static void main. Okay, now I am creating the object of customer data. Then I am calling the method one by one. Ob dot get data, ob dot calculate, ob dot display. Now this is over. Now I am going to run the program by clicking the corresponding class. If you run the file, it will ask customer number. Okay, I am putting this customer number is one not two. Okay, then it will ask. Whether it is domestic or commercial. Okay, I am entering domestic. The enter customer name. I am entering my name. Then enter previous month reading. That is 200. Okay, enter current month reading. That is 400. So total units we are subtracting 200 from 600. We are getting 400. For 400 for domestic. Okay, we have 4 rupees. So, 4 into 4 totally we have rupees 1600. So, by executing this first program, EB will generation, we are familiar with the concept control statements. Where I use the control statements? No. Okay, here I use that control statements. Okay, if, else if, then else. Okay, here I used the control statements. For demonstrating this, we have executed the first exercise EB build generation. In this, what are the Viva questions they will ask? What is class? It is a collection of fields and methods. Object. It is a photocopy of your class. Then, um, then they will ask. Uh, what are different types of control statements? We have branching and looping. In the branching, we have if else and switch. In the looping, we have while, do while, and for. That's all. So, try to run this program. If you are getting any doubt, please ask me. Thank you. We'll meet in the next exercise later. Thank you.